When creating inventory adjustments in NetSuite, we can either add inventory to existing lot numbers or we can add a new lot number and add inventory to it. And the other scenario is we can take away inventory from existing lot numbers. If we were to make an adjustment with a negative quantity, we're basically taking away inventory from an existing lot number. So here I have an adjust quantity by a negative one. And if I look at the inventory detail here, I'll be able to select serial numbers where I can take away inventory from and specify a negative value to indicate that I'm taking away inventory from this lot. So here in our template, we have loaded the inventory account and then we have the item and the location and we're adjusting a negative quantity so we're taking away from an existing lot number. So we need to specify the lot number here. Now let's search for existing lot number. So let's select this one and let's click on update all. So this is going to create an adjustment record with a negative quantity taking away from this lot number. Now we can also create a positive adjustment and basically do the same thing. So I can just uh, copy this, but this time I'm going to enter a positive value and I'm going to enter the serial number on this side. Now the difference is we're receiving inventory for an existing lot for the receipt inventory number and the issue inventory number are the ones, the lot numbers that have already been issued. So we, so we enter them on opposite sides. So on the right side, when we're taking away inventory and on the left side, the receipt inventory number when we're adding. So in NetSuite, we can see the negative adjustment as this, negative one, and we can see the inventory detail here. So negative one quantity, and here's a positive adjustment where we have an adjust quantity by one, and we've added a quantity of one to this lot number. In the Smart Client, in order to configure the inventory detail part, we need to go to Options, Advanced, and Enable Support Advanced Bin Numbered Inventory Management, and click on Edit Inventory Assignment Template, and this is where we can add the quantity, receipt inventory number, and issue inventory number. So once you enable that setting, the Inventory Detail section will be automatically appended to your Inventory Adjustment Templates.